Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrei Romanov. Um, so, um, as already have been manifested, my uh, topic is retrieving the refractive index of a sphere from the phase spectrum of its light scattering profile. Um, we investigate the inverse light sketching problem. It is a problem when uh, you try to retrieve particle characteristics from the uh, light scattering profile this particle produces. And um, there are a lot of uh, approaches to solve this kind of problem, but uh, we will focus here on a spectral one. Um, this method, um, this okay this method uh, mm, this method is based on uh, oscillations on analyzation on analysis of oscillation and um, connects these uh, oscillations to um, uh, to size of the particle and um, this um, <clears throat> Um, this method has a lot of implementations in uh, different, uh, in various uh, experimental setups, but uh, um, the explanations are, are mostly qualitative. And uh, here we, uh, we will uh, ask these two main questions, uh, how exactly the main frequency um, in uh, spectrum related to the particle size and how refractive index affects this uh, dependency or, or spectrum. And uh, the first step we refer to RGD uh, approximation. Uh, in that approximation intensity mostly uh, depends on uh, form factor, um, uh, this expression, uh, and uh, uh, it depends, it, it is a Fourier transformation of indicator function of the particle. And uh, as you can see, it uh, it is already explains the oscillatory behavior of the light scattering pattern, uh, but uh, we will go um, uh, deeper and try to obtain explicit formulas for that. And uh, as a first step, we um, we will try to reduce um, um, the squared Fourier, uh, Fourier transformation uh, using convolution theorem and obtain uh, the autocorrelation function. It is a function of um, intersection of volumes of volume of two particles, um, the same particle. Uh, and um, the most important property of this function uh, that uh, it, is ha it, it has a finite support. And uh, uh, due to that, it has, um, it has, uh, mm, it has jump uh, discontinuities at at the uh, uh, at the support border. So um, now, uh, as we have um, intensity as a three D transformation of integrated autocorrelation function, uh, and uh, in experiment we for sphere has. Um, uh, one dimensional profile, we will reduce it to one dimensional uh, integral. And uh, uh, integrating over uh, planes of constant phase, we obtain um, this, um, uh, this form and um, also obtain an uh, integrated autocorrelation function. Uh, as a particle property. Uh, and this function has also a finite support. Uh, and uh, please note that um, here, um, change, the, um, change the scattering, uh, uh, sc scattering coordinate. Uh, in this approximation, it is more native scattering coordinate. 
Uh, now, as we have uh, intensity, uh, now we have intensity as a, um, as a one dimensional Fourier transformation. In experiment, we have the inverse uh, uh, transformation. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, uh, but also in experiment we have uh, one important restriction. Uh, it is uh, incompleteness of uh, angular range uh, of angular measured range, and that means that we always has uh, have um, uh, a window uh, a window for your transformation uh, it can be boxcar function for example or more often um, hand window function right here uh, that uh, also means uh, that um, um, we uh, we always have uh, um, convolution between integrated autocorrelation function and image of the window and to understand how uh, how peak uh, how uh, spectrum forms, we should understand how um, window affects the uh, autocorrelation function. Uh, from our analysis, we obtain that uh, due to we cannot measure the um, the uh, forward direction. Uh, we cannot measure the forward, uh, the per perfect forward direction. The spectrum tends to uh, zero in points, uh, in infinitely smooth po points of uh, integrated autocorrelation function. And uh, that means that um, this spectrum will be determined only by non-analytical points of um, uh, this function uh, here, here, and here. Uh, so, um, from uh, from that, we can uh, uh, now estimate the spectral peaks that appear at um, uh, these positions, uh, considering the autocorrelation function at the um, <clears throat> locality of uh, of <clears throat> uh, of of these points, we obtain the integral uh, the integral that determines the peak shape, uh, the main peak shape, and uh, it uh, mostly depends on um, rate of uh, rate of um, um, rate of decrease at the support border and uh, the uh, explicit form of window function. Now um, we understand how peak forms and uh, how it depends on uh, particle size, uh, but what's going on if we try to, um, to try to intent refractive index and uh, to do that we refer to next approximation uh, in that approximation form factor has uh, this addi addition uh, which uh, which is uh, simply uh, phase shift of light uh, that uh, traversed uh, inside the particle. And uh, we can do the same manipulations uh, uh, to this form factor as, as above and obtain uh, similar but more complex formulas. And uh, most important uh, uh, change uh, here is um, change of um, mm, native coordinate. Uh, as you can see, and um, we can approximate this um, coordinate uh, for um, commonly experiment for common experimental conditions uh, by this expression, and uh, uh, 
um, uh, as you can see here, we have um, a constant uh, shift that can be uh, taken away, taken out from uh, from the integral as a spectral phase shift. Uh, but uh, it is not the only. Uh, it is not the only. Um, <clears throat> think um, uh, it is not the only one thing that uh, affects the uh, sp spectrum and uh, um, also we have a um, uh, dependency of um, sorry to, to disturb you but uh, we have to go quite to the end and conclude shortly oh, okay I have two, two slides okay. um, Thank you. Uh, okay, but, uh, but we have uh, dependency of integrated autocorrelation function uh, uh, on uh, um, on scattering angle, but uh, it can be averaged uh, at the uh, at the conditions of uh, uh, WKB approximation and. Uh, the uh, uh, described uh, uh, above results are valid here as well. Also, we um, we uh, considered the general case uh, and um, uh, built the analog of um, integrated uh, of integrated autocorrelation function, but uh, it. Uh, uh, but it needs more, uh, more complicated. Uh, um, uh, it, it needs more study. So uh, summing all up, uh, we have described the spectral peak formation at uh, in uh, uh, RGD and WKB approximations. We showed how the how window function affects the resulting spectrum. We explained uh, previously facts and uh, uh, we built a analytical framework uh, to further development of spectral method. The results submitted to uh, submitted in optical and laser technology journal and uh, that's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, thank you, Andre. Uh, let's go to the discussion. I see no questions in chat. I as well don't see any rise of the hand. It means uh, I will ask a very simple question. You analyze in quite detail the scattering gamut. Do you have any particular experiment uh, in mind? Uh, for which you do this calculation. Can you say any reference to the experiment which uh, will be able to measure these scatterings to calculate? Uh, okay, uh, it's a good question. We have, um, in laboratory, we have a uh, scanning flow cytometer which uh, can measure uh, the single pa particle scattering. Uh, in a range for, from 10 degree to 90 degree. Uh, and um, uh, for, for example, particle is simply uh, latex uh, beads, uh, of, uh, la latex bead for, for micron is in size. Uh, for example, it, but uh, mostly can, it can be uh, um, uh, biological cells, for example. Okay, it means if we search through the references from your laboratory, we can find uh, those experiments which you have in mind for that. Therapy. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you once more for your talk, and uh, we will now go to the next speaker. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for questions. <laughs>